All right, so I wanted to talk to you about what worked and what didn't work for 2020. So let's start with the potato bed. Uh, this is my first year doing potatoes. They were seed potatoes. I put them on this very end row here. To be honest with you, they were probably one of my better crops. They were pretty maintenance free. I mean, they had some pests, but I didn't uh, worry too much about that. I am gonna do potatoes again. So overall, the potatoes were a win. Now right here is where I had one of my biggest problems. This is, uh, both these rows here are my tomato rows. I think I had five or six different varieties of tomatoes. Some did better than others. But the biggest thing was my support structure for my tomatoes. I tried to do like a rope trellis. It worked, but it didn't work, right? So when the tomatoes grew out, they didn't get the support they needed. But when they grew up, they were, they were fine. I'm gonna do a completely different system this year the other thing is the spacing with these two rows is way too close together it's about wide enough to maybe walk you know through but if you have tomatoes right next to each other they grow out quite a bit and there was really at the end of the season no room to get in and harvest or you could but it was it was a jungle this row was my cantaloupe and i loved my cantaloupe my first year doing uh, cantaloupe and it just was such a fun fruit to grow the biggest problem i had with this row was just as you guys know cantaloupe grows out a lot off the center line i would say it probably grew at least six feet uh even all the way over past my tomatoes and into my potato row just be sure when you put in cantaloupe give it a lot more room so i think i'm gonna completely move this bed out of my uh, garden here because it just doesn't lend for enough space so this row was my squash row and i did two varieties of squash that did really good first year doing squash what worked good was uh you know the spacing between rows was plenty of room and what didn't work was just i i did too many per inch it kind of got a little jumbled to get in there but as long as you you know clean up your plants you shouldn't have any problems uh planting them close together this row was my pumpkin row as you see here this is my fall garden but the pumpkins grew and they 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 grew and they, they they took over my garden. They literally grew all the way down here and they grew all the way back this way. Actually, I kept pulling them over to keep them out of this side of the garden. So pumpkin is, is fun. It grew really well in the heat, but they vine and you just want a lot of room uh, similar to the cantaloupe, probably worse than the cantaloupe. I'm gonna move uh, the pumpkins to a different bed next year. So here are my tubs. These tubs are gonna be probably repurposed for my tomatoes. Now I have a, a neighbor gardener and he uses these in a unique way and so I'm gonna try to mimic what he does, uh, hopefully with similar materials. These are really good for weed control and for holding moisture, right? So when you water these, the moisture will stay or the water will stay down in in the tub and it won't run off to whatever adjacent space you have so that's the nice thing about the tubs the other thing is that they are they shelter from the wind right so we get a lot of wind here in this part of oklahoma and they provide a shelter for the plants when they're young which is great right and you don't have to worry about the sun not getting to them because they get plenty of sun and it's just a really good uh, starting container for your plants this was my onion bed Onions are really easy to grow. The problem I had was with my irrigation. I mounted my onions. They are kind of like a crown, and so at the very at the very top is where my irrigation is, and then on both sides of the irrigation is where I put my onions. The problem is that the water just kind of shed off and went down to the in-between rows, and the mound itself didn't absorb a lot of the water. So, you know, my soil consistency I think was a little hard, and then uh, just the water shedding. So this was my strawberry row or patch i had a lot of uh runners come that i got rooted that was my intention this year was to kind of get this established it did decent you know i had a couple plants that died back overall there's some uh, room for improvement one thing i want to have this more of a loomy type soil i just feel like with the runners they take a lot more uh, if you have a loomy soil rather than like a clay or hard soil that kind of bakes and gets hard in the sun very quickly. And uh, I've seen where people do row covers and I, I might try that with a portion of this, uh, like a black sheathing that will cover the dirt, but I'm not real sure. So guys, give me some ideas what you think I should do with my strawberry row. So these are my pepper rows here. As you can see, I put up some rope to help 
support the peppers and I had uh, quite a few peppers this year actually more than I needed I gave a lot away and I just tried to harvest as much as I could but I, I really probably did way more peppers than I needed some varieties I ate more than others and so I'll kind of tune that a little bit this year uh, one of the things that I am going to try to improve I'm going to use this same rope type support uh, I'm going to do it a little bit differently I'll show you guys that one of the things I did was I started my pepper plants inside and they just outgrew my indoor planters which you guys probably have had that same experience this year I'm going to do them outside hopefully get a lot more height on them have a better looking plant this year so this is my bean and carrot now I did a blue lake bush bean and it just didn't grow well I don't know if it's because I started it late if it was the heat the sunlight I'm not real sure it could just be our climate I think I might try them again but I'm not sure and then the carrots I've grew I grew carrots uh, a few years back in a uh, smaller garden in my backyard and they grew well this year they just didn't take and again I think I got things out a little too late the heat was already on us so I'm gonna start my carrots early this year here's my okra the okra did really good so the spacing follow guidelines actually I planted some that were closer to each other and just saw how they grew and they grew fine they didn't get as big but they still produced a lot of okra the one thing about the okra is that they grow really tall and they'll cast a lot of shade so I'm gonna try to use that to my advantage this year as far as where I place them within the garden um, because on this side is where I had my asparagus and they just they kind of grew a little too far over and I think they shaded the asparagus a little too much so I'm gonna do that and move move them this year so this is my asparagus bed and as you guys know asparagus is a perennial it comes back each year every year it gets bigger and better um, and you can harvest more this is my first year I didn't harvest any at all I just let the plant grow and they grew well I was really surprised because I planted them in a hurry and I didn't amend the soil like I wanted to but they grew and they grew really good I'm hoping this year they come back bigger and better I'm gonna move my okra so that they get a little more sunlight I might try to figure out almost like use like a tomato cage to support them because this Oklahoma wind just wreaks havoc on uh, plants here any that grow tall and they don't have a lot of support they held up you know under the wind I just want to give them a little more support and maybe they'll grow a little bit better so real quick here's my rutabaga I haven't harvested this yet and I still need to figure out uh, when is a good time to harvest but this is my lettuce uh, this is really fun to come out here and just whenever we needed lettuce for tacos or even a salad to just come out here and harvest what we needed that filling is just it's just such a cool feeling to know you don't have to run to the grocery store and you, you've got it outside in the garden and literally it took me very little effort to plant this and then these are collard greens which i love collards my neighbors are or they cook a lot of collards so uh, i really have been giving this away uh, just grew it more of as an experimental thing i'm going to try to go ahead and do collards again in the fall